GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing Alpha 9. Um, Alpha 9.2 just dropped, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually continue the Alpha 9 series, but with a new start, and I'm going to do... I, I made a custom scenario. It's it's really kludgy. It's semi-dynamic, semi-static. It's not the way you're supposed to make scenarios, okay? Um, the only thing that it doesn't do, though, like it all t completely functions, the only thing it doesn't do correctly is the planet size. Every single planet in... <laughs> in the solar system ends up being the same size as your starter planet, whatever starter planet you chose. And I had to force the starter planets to be specific sizes so that the POIs would, um, you know, spawn properly because on the smaller planet sizes, some of the POIs wouldn't because on the harder planets that I made, I put too many POIs, basically. Um, and sometimes the quest POIs get bumped off. And so what, I, what I've noticed is I had to minimize a bunch of the POIs. So I took all the starting POIs. I took all the hard POIs that already existed on that planet type, and I kind of mushed them together. I tried to keep all the starting ones that were quest sensitive uh, to be, um, uh, to, to always work. Like I really tried to make those work the hardest so that, you know, regardless if you got a bunch of the hard um, POIs that are inherent to that type of planet, you'll at least get all the the mission POI stuff working. So it'll be a functional starting planet for sure. Um, now, unfortunately, on the two hard ones that I made, I had to make them large planets. So that means even your moons are going to be large. But I can show you how to go in after you've generated um, the, the game before you go to another play field and generate the play field, you can go in and modify the templates for each of the play fields if you so choose. And it's pretty easy to do. It only takes a, a couple minutes, realistically. And I can show, I, I will show you how to do that. Not this episode. We don't need to get into that. Um, so you'll be able to customize your all your your planet sizes by modifying the template after the template is created. Right now there is no template. It's dynamically generated. Um, so that means if we change seeds, all this changes. Um, you know what? I just want to go with the seed anyway. So let's, we're going to do the snow planet start. <laughs> I've been trying to make this hard and I think I got it. I think I got it here. So um, let's call this Alpha 9.2. Yeah, Alpha 9.2. And our difficulty settings, we're going with basically straight up hard. So I just would set this to hard. And then I go down and I change my deposits to rich, plenty, uh, crafter speed to fast, and whoops, not blueprint, yeah, blueprint true, block limit true, and repair to fast. Everything else is hard defaults. So enemies are all hard, player is all hard, life stats is all hard. Um, basically what that does is it it's fast crafting hard critters and hard planet uh, environment. <clears throat> okay. Uh, which is basically what you want for, for end game, really. Uh, I mean, the, the environment doesn't matter so much at end game, but uh, 
but everything else does. O2 consumption still matters. End game, you gotta you gotta think about that when you're going and raiding. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Now, because this is dynamically generated and it's got like 70 some odd play fields, this is gonna take a while for this file for all these files to generate. And I've got a pretty powerful computer, so it only takes a couple minutes for me. Um, I will come back when this is done and we will be falling to planet. See you in a second. Okay, so it just finished generating the static. Oh, okay, so there's the start era. Yes, I made a I made a crash site on the two hard planets. So I'm just trying to make it very generic. So it's just like I'm hoping it would feel something like how Elon would make it very generic with it with a crash site. Now my crash site has a bit of a twist. So this is actually looking pretty good. There's a nice lake here. It looks like there's seaweed in here. Excellent. There's a wreckage right there. Now the crash site is that uh, is that treed area there. Um, I can tell because those are the type of trees and the terrain that I that I put in for the crash site. Sometimes it's split up into little chunks all over the place. Now, um, the snow planet, you do not get the Robson protocol start. You can see I'm already cold and we have medium armor on. But I do have, we start with a pistol and 250 bullets because yeah, you have to. There's critters right away. And let's eat something. Okay, we won't worry about healing quite yet, but we're going to have to... We've got the heater cooler, but we've got to move on uh, leveling and, and finding resources. So here's, let's gather what we can. Excellent food right off the bat and some mechanical pieces. Now, I have volume weight enabled, so... Uh, that's going to make it fun too. I actually enjoy the volume weight challenge, so to speak. So let's go up to the crash site here. We're kind of on the outskirts of it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the other wreckages right now. I want to get up into the crash site. There's um, food up in the crash site. Now the only problem is we have a very limited time in the crash site before we gotta flee. <laughs> because you're gonna to wanna to get away at night. Spiders come out at night in the crash site. So I'm just pre-warning you. Yeah, buddy, you can leave me alone. Um, now there is each type of surface rock in the crash zone. There shouldn't be like too, too many, but the crash site is actually fairly large, so. Let's see another silicone rock over here. Oh, looks like a couple copper, too. Excellent. And we're going to have to put down our heater cooler soon. Oh, a bunch of copper. Copper, silicone, good. Okay, we're going to have to find some iron, though. Once we get the iron, we can get our oxygen cooking. Well, our dispenser cooking. We can't actually get the oxygen cooking yet. We'll have to wait till our third level. So that's scary. That's the race on this planet, is the race for oxygenation. It's just like the arid planet that way, where it's like, oh. And the the kicker is, is you get real cold on this planet. Oh, there's some iron over there, so I'll just head over there. Now, I know my stamina is going to tank. I, I really need to put my... Because I don't have a lot of food to replenish my stamina, so let's... we got to, like, stop here. Put the heater cooler down. 
and oh. warm up. There we go. Our stamina will come back. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to make some food right now. Out of the uh, plant protein that we picked, or else we're gonna start starving here. You can see our when your when your stamina tanks, it just it just destroys your food, and we're on hard settings for that. So yeah. Okay, excellent. We got iron here. Uh, let's pick this up. So I gotta not let myself get too cold, basically. So we gotta stop just before we get to too cold. That's gonna really slow us down. This is gonna... This could be... Very, very difficult. This could be very, very difficult. And not to mention... On a couple of the test runs that I've done, the, um... There's a patrol vessel that tends to try and come hunt you down, so it... <laughs> I don't know why, but it seems obsessed with the crash site also. Not all the time. Not all the time. On a, on a few tests, uh, because I had to try different seeds and that, make sure that it's not just, you know, it's not something pertaining to... When something doesn't work, I gotta make sure that a different seed it doesn't work on too. All right. Anyway. Um, okay, we're gonna start getting cold again here pretty soon. We need to. We need to level up. We need to hit level three, or we're gonna suffocate. Not only are we gonna freeze to death and starve to death, but we're gonna freaking suffocate. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the heater cooler down. We can't really afford the... We can't afford to, um, to get cold again, so... I mean, we are gathering food, which is excellent. Oh, we should actually... We should actually get this cooking, and then we'll get more of this cooking. Yeah. Okay, we can take some of our oxygen, too. That's not good. Didn't want to be taking three bottles already. Yikes. What's our stats at? We're not even level two yet. <laughs> We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're going to suffocate. You know what? Now that we got the ore, uh, I might just run into the water. Let's... You know what? That might be the best plan. That might be a good plan. Let's try and get a little bit more ore. A little bit more ore. I don't know how easy the uh, ore is going to be, but I think we're going to have to run into the water and, and try and level up on seaweed. Let's just try and get as many of these rocks as we can before we run back to the water. I think that's going to be our best bet for, uh, for leveling here. I'm just not seeing enough stuff to pick. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're surface rocks, sure, but... Okay, we also need to heal up some. Okay. And we're going to have to put the... Heater cooler down. Let's put it here while we zap this thing. Okay. Keep going here. Now the one benefit we do have is that the medium armor starts you off with more oxygen. Okay, I just want to get these rocks and then we'll head towards the water. I think I'm going to need all of this. Every freaking rock I can see. 
Although I don't really want to start climbing up into the mountains. I see a piece of copper up there, but... Okay. Okay. Let's start heading. There's some more stuff to pick. And rocks up here. Now, you notice I use my jetpack instead of um, running all over the place because running is foolish. <laughs> Absolutely foolish. I will starve to death. Okay. We're getting a good supply of rocks. And, and the thing is, the challenge on the settings that I'm running to isn't the isn't the resources per se the initial challenge will be to hit level three and make a freaking biofuel <laughs> now okay on medium settings if you choose this to go on the medium settings you'll get biofuel and an oxygen thing so it's like oh crap oh crap 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 <sighs> oh, did I? There, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, yeah, I can't be doing that. Can't be losing stamina due to stupidity here, because that will kill us. Get as much of this as we can. We haven't got much silicone. That could be a problem. If Although, I'm hoping in the water there'll be more. I just can't remember if there was. I also reduced the amount in a couple of places. Because it was... It was just blobs of, like, silicone everywhere. It was kind of weird. Some silicone here too. Okay. Like I say, we'll, we'll get plenty of ore in the start zone, but we can't stay here. We cannot stay here. We're gonna have to jump in the lake. <laughs> but we need to hit level three real fast here. Getting a little bit worried now, actually. We might have to make a beeline for it. Oh, crap, and put that down. Gonna get that down right away. Can't be losing any stamina at all at this point. It's just too dangerous to lose food. Although I'm going to get a lot right away. It's just... It's just... It, it's not smart to do. <laughs> if, I need it, if I need it to run from a drone or something too. Okay, let's get this tree. We'll get these trees over here. I mean, we did get some fiber, and we can probably get some more wood down there, but let's grab some right now. Come on. Oh my god, come on. Really? Wow. Five. Okay, well, that was pretty awesome. That's ten biofuel. We did pick up some fibers, too. We can get enough. We need about ten logs, at least. Five. There we go. Okay, good. Let's just, let's just go. We've got to get in there, start picking... I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do this. And I get 
looks like I can, yeah, I can see seaweed. I can see seaweed, so we'll be okay. Okay. Put my weapon away, and can we get there before we start getting cold? Please? <laughs> oh, nice. We just hit a warm spot. see seaweed there lots of seaweed excellent excellent come on and the water is much warmer too so that's that's another thing. Oh, we got to take some oxygen here. And I'm going to have to turn that in oxygen. Let's eat this. And we've got this ready. So let's turn our water and oxygen. Because we're going to need it. Okay, we got a power level. And... This, the great thing about coming down into the water is not only is there a whole bunch of seaweed, uh, this is all native to a snow planet. I didn't add any of this. This is just whatever's in the uh, dynamic YAML there. The uh, I did mess around with both the dynamic and the static YAML a little bit, obviously. <laughs> with a crash site. That's part of the dynamic YAML. The uh, POIs are part of the static YAML. And when the game first starts loading, it, it takes the information from both those YAMLs and creates a, a play field YAML and turns that into all the templates. Uh, so it creates all the play field YAMLs for all of the sectors, all of the play fields in all the sectors when you first load the game. It doesn't create the play fields, it just creates the template play field YAMLs for them. So if you need to, you, you can always like use your template as your YAML, your actual play field YAML, and it'll load up as the play field. Now, obviously, if your save file, you'd have to delete your the the uh, play field in the save file to be able to do that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We need to cook both the the um Oh god. We've gotta be getting close. We might suffocate. We might suffocate. This is not looking good, actually. Are we for... Let's take that. And, oh, we're almost level 3. We're almost level 3. It's... Still not looking good, though. Still not looking good. Let's... Let's let's use up our stamina bit here, because we're actually getting food. So let's just... Level. Let's just level. Can we... Can we not pick this stuff? Please, thank you. Please, please, yes. Okay, so let's unlock this. Um, misc, and it's portable constructor, and let's just get that going right now. We're not gonna screw around. Get that going. And we've got fiber, good. Okay, let's just set up shop here. Just set up here. I don't think we're going to have enough time to make biofuel, the constructor, and everything. We're going to suffocate here. We're going to suffocate. This is pretty much a gimme. <laughs> I don't, this, is, this is hard. Whew.
get to making food while we're at it. Come on. No, we're not going to pull this off. I would have had to need the to start the oxygen already. So this ain't happening. We're dying. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Ugh. Get that going. We're dying. We're dying. There is no way we can pull this off. We don't have the oxygen left. It's too bad, really. No, not with 30 some odd seconds left. That's too bad. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I can't move or else it'll consume oxygen. We're in big trouble. Big, big trouble. Come on. Oh, <laughs> this is nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Oh yeah, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. There's no way we can pull this off. There is no way we can do this. No. No, we can't heal ourselves long enough to do this. We are definitely dying. Ah, it's too bad. It's too bad. So we'll try. We'll try with the herbal leaves. Do the food. Do this, it'll count down as we heal and Oh my god, I can't believe this. Okay, but we're going to start. No, we're not going to starve. <laughs> oh, I don't think we can pull this off, though, because... Okay, so... Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, let's make another one of these. Right? Right? Okay, and we've got to get more fuel going. I'm not dead yet, not dead yet. <laughs> oh, but that's not looking good because we've got to turn that water into oxygen. Oh no, we're not going to pull this off this time. I don't think we're going to pull this off. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Woo. But we gotta make the oxygen. Okay. And then oops. Get this down. Oh my goodness. Starting to almost panic here. Okay. Okay. And then we can't be cooking anything in our suit. We can't be cooking anything in our suit because we don't have the time. We need, we need the time because this is nuts. Okay, and now we go into our suit and turn that into oxygen. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, and then, whew, it's not much, 
It's not much. I can't move. I'm pretty much bound here, but I think we've got it under control. I think we might have this. This is looking pretty promising, actually. And we've actually got a decent amount of ore to start here. Got to hold off on making the food, though. I don't need food right now. I mean, I, I'm fine. Wow. Okay, this was a tough start. But we're gonna pull it off. Yep, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, that was wow. Yep, we've got this. We've got this. Um, you know what? Let's get more biofuel going. Jeez. Well, that was pretty good having those herb enough herbal leaves to keep me alive. In the wow, that was um, pretty constructive use of uh, of herbal leaves, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, Nineteen. Is this one gonna give us something? Oh, it's got it there. Oh yeah, so we're we're definitely in the. Uh, Oh yeah, we're we're definitely keeping up. We're not only keeping up, we're ahead of the game now. Okay, well I'm going to leave the episode off here. Uh, next episode, we will try and continue on without dying. I mean, this is a tough planet. It's got a hard patrol vessel. Um, it, <laughs> it's not really supposed to be a starting planet, but what the hell? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, next episode, we'll continue on. So, here we go. Next time. I think we're going to... We may get enough resources up to put a little starting pad out and put an HV out. But not, not really. We'll probably just get a bike out. So that's going to be our goal next episode is a motorbike and uh, and a drill and try and find a spot to maybe start thinking about setting up a base. Okay, guys. Well, till then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.